Welcome to the Enlightenment Dating Teleseminar. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Andy Anderson from EnlightenmentDating.com. This week we have the legendary Cajun and Ten Magnet from Love Systems. Be sure to check out their upcoming boot camp in Austin, Texas, January 30th through the February 1st. Just go to lovesystems.com to find out more. You guys uh, want to start us off with a little short introduction about yourself? Yeah, sure. Who are we speaking to right now? Uh, this is E, by the way, uh, from uh, Enlightenment Dating. The uh, I'm uh, in the Austin uh, city. The Andy's up in uh, Seattle. Um, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So uh, have at it. Give us a little bit uh, about your background. Cool. Chris, you want to go first? Yeah, sure. Uh, so I I actually got in the game uh, a long time back. I uh, I found out about this stuff on the internet. You know, I found FastSeduction.com back in like 2002, um, and uh, and I was just completely useless with girls. And uh, you know, at that time, uh, Mystery is posting and Tyler Durden were posting and stuff like that. And I actually wound up running into Mystery and Tyler Durden and Extra Mask and a bunch of guys, probably just about the first time they hung out, uh, maybe like the second or third time, but in Toronto I ran into him in the bar, and uh, I recognized Mystery. I was like, oh, my God, hey, that guy with the, the guy with the six-foot-four guy with, uh, with, like, you know, a cowboy hat, black nails, and <laughs> orange heel. You must be that Mystery guy from the Internet, right? And he's like, yeah. Um, so that's how I met those guys. I just ran, I literally just ran into them in the bar. I'd already read a whole bunch of stuff and um, started hanging out with uh, TD and Mystery um, back when back like before uh, Project Hollywood. Because uh, if you guys have read the game, uh, everything in the game's true, but the chronology is a little bit off. Like they didn't all meet sort of at the first Mystery Method seminar. Um, and it was uh, they met uh, sort of at different times all over the place. And, uh, and so, yeah, me and Mystery and TD used to go out together all the time back before Project Hollywood, and then they left. And uh, I got a girlfriend and sort of dropped out of the game for a little while and kept on getting a girlfriend, dropping out, getting back into it and stuff. And then I started working for Love Systems um, uh, three and a half years ago, four years ago, uh, right after the game came out. They, they, were, they hired a bunch of guys, and I started working as approach coach, and I've been doing that ever since. Um, I've been yeah teaching for pro- probably almost four years now, uh, and yeah got a lot of got a lot of experience had a lot of awesome <laughs> awesome experiences and stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's been it's been a great experience. Cajun. Uh Yeah, my story happens a little bit um, not as not as long off ago as uh, as when Chris has started. I got into this around I guess you could say late 2005. It was more like early 2006. Um, I got, I just got out of a long relationship. I was in a relationship with a girl that I was seeing, uh, just, uh, through university, at least the end of university. And it ended, and I kind of thought to myself, like, fuck, I don't want to have to go through the same shit I had to go through to get girlfriend <laughs> in university. And right, my biggest right. thing was, my problem wasn't, like, being social and, and stuff like that. Like, I never had the problem meeting girls. For me, it was just a matter of, uh, making a move on the girl and, and getting things to go sexual, you know. I was really, really good at, at befriending girls, you know. I'd have lots of, lots of friends that are girls, and even sometimes they'd be interested in me. Uh, but I, I would never make a move. And so usually it would take me about like a year or two years before I'd, I'd find, you know, a girl that would have the, usually have the balls to make the moves on me first. And, and so that was the, the predicament I was in when I came into this relationship again. And I was like, fuck this. I'm not doing that again. And it just so happened that one night um, when I went over to my friend's house to complain about, you know, said fact, to complain about the fact that I had no girlfriend anymore, um, he had this book on his couch. And I remember looking at it thinking, like, wow, what the fuck? What is that, a Bible? And it was, of course, the game, but it just came out at the time. And, uh, he, and he told me, I was like, uh, you know, dude, what, what is this, what's this book about? It's called The Game. It says, like, you know, infiltrating pickup artists in the front. So I was like, what the hell? And, and he said, oh, it's this book. It's about this guy who works for Rolling Stone magazine who ends up picking up, you know, like Britney Spears and, uh, you know, Paris Hilton gets picked up in it, and it's all these guys, you know, he wants to be a pickup artist and all this. And I'm thinking, okay, so it's fiction. And uh, the guy's like, no, 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 it really happens. So I was like, what the fuck? So I picked it up, and I, I read a chapter. I think it was the Britney Spears chapter I ended up reading. 
And I was like, oh, my God, this is insane. I have to, I have to read this. So I bought it from him, and I read it all that night. I stayed up all night reading it. And the whole time I was reading it, I was thinking, like, oh, like what the fuck? I would be so good at this. And I wasn't thinking I'd be so good at this because I was good at women. I was thinking I'd be so good at this because at the time I was an actor. And to me, it seems like all those guys were doing in that book were, were using lines. They were using stuff they'd thought of in advance, and, and that, was, that was winning the girls over, just having these, you know, clever words to say and stuff. Um, and I felt that, you know, me being a, a, a good actor, at least having confidence in my own acting ability, I felt like, well, fuck, if these guys aren't actors, I could probably do this way better than they can. So I went out the very next night with this sort of idea in my head, thinking, like, well, I'm just going to use the same lines that I read in this book, and it's going to go amazing because I'll know how to say them the right way. And that's exactly what happened. I went out that very night, and surprisingly, I, I did really well. I ended up um, making out with a couple of girls, and, and it was, everything was really awesome. And I was like, wow, that, I kind of like got the bug for this stuff. And I was thinking, like, well, shit, I want to I wanna see if I can get really good at this. If this is my, my first night. And so uh, I ended up meeting a guy that very night. Um, I took the bus home, and there was a guy on the other side of the bus. There was these two girls from Paris that I was sitting next to. And I started talking, and they ended up getting uh, their numbers. And the guy, when I got off the bus, he got off at the same stop. He came up to me, and he's like, dude, dude, that was awesome what you did on the bus. And I was like, oh, thanks, man. I actually just read this book uh, called The Game about this stuff. It's insane. It teaches you, like, it doesn't teach you, but it's all about these guys that pick up girls using lines. And we started talking and stuff. He ended up living about two blocks away from where I live. And as we're walking home, he says to me, he's like, well, you know what? You actually remind me a lot, like, uh, or sorry, a lot of my old friend um, named Eric. And I said, oh. Eric, since I just read the game, and do of course misuse his name being Eric von Markovic, I kind of said half jokingly, "Oh, Eric, he's not a he's not a magician, is he?" And uh, and he kind of looked at me weird and said, "Yeah, he is. How did you know that?" And I said, well, "What's his name?" And he says, "Eric von Markovic." And I said, "What the fuck?" I was like, "Dude, I just read a book about that guy last night. That doesn't make any sense. You're you're fucking pulling my leg." And he's like, "No, man. What the hell are you talking about? What book?" So this guy, his name's Alex. Um, he used to be really good friends with uh, Eric before mystery became famous. Eric, of course, being mystery. Uh-huh. So he was, he was right. really good friends with him before he ever became famous. And he didn't even know that he, became, he had become famous for this pickup stuff. And so wow. uh, me and Alex ended up becoming good friends. Um, I showed him this book. Of course, he couldn't believe it. I mean, actually, one of the first things he said when, he, when, he, when I finally first told him about this book was like, what the fuck, that guy owes me 50 grand. Um, which, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I still think that... He still, he still hasn't gotten that. Yeah, he still, he, still hasn't he ran into he ran him in, in Los Angeles, and Mystery was like, yeah. and Mystery was like, oh, yeah, I'll get that to you. And then and he accepted that. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was, yeah, yeah. Me and Alex ran into him in Los Angeles, and Mad and stuff, and he, he was still like skirting around the issue. But anyway, suffice to say, uh, me and Alex ended up going out uh, pretty much four nights a week for about four or five months uh, when he lived in Toronto. Um, and we were basically going out. We didn't really read much material. We didn't really um, read any community stuff. We basically were coming up with all of our own, all of our own shit. And at the time, you have to remember, but this was three years ago, uh, Toronto was kind of like still the, the big scene where all this stuff was happening. A lot of the best, or all of the, you know, big pickup artists came into Toronto, and so we still had this buzz going on in the city. It was still very much, you know, like you'd go out, and I'd always meet at least, you know, five to ten guys that, uh, that were doing the same thing. So our company, our kind of uh, reputation as guys could give good advice um, kind of happened pretty quick after, you know, we usually give advice to guys, I mean, Alex, and it would, it would work really well, so we kind of got a, a bit of a reputation. So uh, a couple months down the line, um, Mystery ends up being in Toronto, so he gives Alex a call because they were start, sort of still, you know, had a, had a little so in touch, um, and said, hey, you guys want to come down to the Madison for some beers? And so I ended up meeting that night. I met uh, Mystery, I met Matador, I met Ten Magnet, Chris. Uh, I met, uh, you know, uh, all these guys, Love Drop, that were all in, the, um, all, in, all in the community in the book and the game and all that. And I met them all. And, you know, I told Mr. I wanted to work for the company and all this stuff. And he was like, yeah, 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 that's great. You know, you and everybody else uh, type thing. So nothing really came of it. Um, and then a couple months down the road, uh, two or three years later, uh, Alex had gone back to the U.K. And I was pretty much, I was lone wolfing. I ran into um, this guy. <laughs> well, actually, I ran, I ran into a dude at the bar that was with these two girls. And uh, this guy actually is, is, is Ten Magnet, Chris. Um, but what happened was I thought he was just some dude that had two girls with him. So, of course, I tried to steal the two girls away from him. And uh, he kind of looked. He kind of just uh, sat there and was like, let's see, let's see what this guy has up his sleeve. Let's see what, it, you know, let's see what his skill level is at. And he kind of sat there and let me try to steal his set away. And, and I did a pretty good job. And so eventually he kind of stopped me. He was like, dude, 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 no, I know what you're doing. I work for, I work for Mystery. 
And uh, we kind of had a little conversation there. The girls that were even like, who's mystery? What are you guys talking about? It was like, shut up. Uh, and uh, <laughs> but we ended up, we ended up, uh, we ended up uh, uh, he invited me to the, uh, he, or he convinced me to come to a seminar. Um, it was happening in Toronto a couple weeks later. So I ended up going to the seminar in Toronto. 